what's going on everybody we are back with a brand new video and i'm gonna hit you with the disclaimer i had actually had to um say it over the past few videos but once again i'm in the four wheel studio aka my car so if there are any variances in the normal level of audio quality please attribute it to that now with that being said let's get on to today's video so as i was sitting in the parking lot at Junior's basketball camp, I was just briefly scrolling through my phone and whatnot, checking to see if there was anything of news and noteworthiness that may have happened as I was slumbering last evening and came across, um, I guess it was taken from a, an interview or whatever with Tracy McGrady. And so they asked him about a post from Ball Sack Sports. And I've heard, of, well, no, not ball sack, butt crack sports. I'm sorry. Getting my body orf body orifices sports organizations mixed up. But it, they asked him about a tweet from butt crack sports. <laughs> Never thought I'd be saying that on a video. But uh, that said Stephen Curry was a top five, not point guard, but all time player. And so they asked T Mac about it and he uh, gave his comments on it so without wanting to kind of bias you or, or give you any inclination of what he had to say i'll let his words and himself speak on his own so here is what tracy mcgrady had to say when he was asked about stephen curry being a top five player what crack sports says <laughs> Stephen Curry is a top five NBA player of all time. No, he tripping on that. He hasn't cracked my top ten yet. He just hasn't. Uh, I think Steph has had a phenomenal career. I mean, obviously, four championships, two league MVPs. He has a final MVP. But if you go back in his career, and if you look at when a Draymond is out of the lineup for the season, if you look at Klay Thompson has missed a season or half of that season, to me, if you're that great, if you're going to be a top five and one of your guys are missing, you can't make the playoffs, I can't put you in the top five or top ten. I, I just can't. And that's opinion. greatness to me is when one of your guys are out, you still got to elevate your team at least to the playoffs. Like, they don't even make the playoffs when Clay or Draymond is out of the lineups. And they haven't won a play-in game at all. So, in top five, no chance. Well, let's try this again because apparently I had recorded an entire monologue on the thing and thought I was done, but for some reason the audio decided not to record. So, here we are, back for take two. But... Anyway, like I was saying, so there were the, the comments from Tracy McGrady, and um, honestly, I don't disagree with his assessment. I have a few uh, other points that I want to jump into as to the why, but as far as him being a top five or a top ten player, absolutely not. And this is this is like this is not a slight on Stephen Curry at all, because. And Mr. McGrady went down his extensive and impressive resume. You're talking to, uh, talking about a guy who is a four-time NBA champion, a two-time MVP, including the first unanimous MVP in league history, a ten-time All-Star, a Finals MVP, you know, and, and numerous uh, All-NBA teams and so many other accolades. So we're talking about a guy who is, when he hangs it up, is a surefire, no doubt about it first ballot hall of famer you can book his his ticket to springfield not not an argument not up for discussion not debatable but in terms of him being in the tippy tippy top of all time greats in terms of the top five and top ten no i do not agree with that um i don't think that's a wild take for somebody to make um when and and it kind of goes back to what tracy mcgrady was saying when you look at some of the all-time greats and when some of their, their horses have not been there, you know, via injury or whatever the other uh, or talent deficiencies or whatever the circumstances were, were. We've seen over and over again as we thumb through the annals of NBA history of great players being able to push and take their teams further 
than they otherwise would have went. And there's been a lot of times where, you know, we, we just haven't seen that when it comes to Stephen Curry. So, you know, you that's something that you, you've got to wear. And, you know, we can look at, uh, if you want to look at particularly the NBA Finals, uh, he was he was pretty good in, in 2015, um, but Andre Godala won Finals MVP, as we know, 16. Kyrie Irving, I thought, thoroughly, thoroughly outplayed him um, in that series, um, 17 and 18. I want you to think about this. I'm going down. These are consecutive trips to the finals, so think about that, even as we're talking. Um, and, and, and again, it speaks to the impressiveness of the career that he's had, but 2017, uh, obviously that that was Kevin Durant, and for that entire series, he kicked LeBron James and the, and the Cleveland Cavaliers right in the tushy, and, and it was just no doubt about it who was the finals MVP, who was the best player in the series, uh, that particular uh, series, so I mean, that was just no doubt about it there. Um, 2018, uh, something very similar. Uh, in terms of well, no, let me let me not say that because actually, Curry started off with really two really strong games uh, in the finals, and you know it almost seemed like, and I'm I'm kind of being a little tongue in cheek here, a little facetious if you will. That Kevin Durant was like, hey man, go ahead you you get the finals MVP this year, and for whatever reason, uh, Wardell was was unable to seize that proverbial brass ring and and Kevin Durant uh, over the, the, the last uh, couple games of that series once again uh, had himself quite a series and, and went on to become finals MVP. We know what happened in 2019 where injuries absolutely decimated the Warriors in terms of a Kevin Durant going down. Um, was that, I think game one or two? Uh, Clay Thompson going down with the ACL in game six, late in game six. But if you will recall, in that in that same game, um, the Warriors had a opportunity to tie the game in the closing seconds, and Wardell got a darn good look at, at a three-pointer that he has shown the ability to make with regularity, and it, it was Brick City. So he was unable to come through, and we know that if that was, say, a LeBron James or some of these other players, we would have taken them to task over not coming through, and rightfully so. And so we have to do the same thing for Stephen Curry. And so um, you have to, these things play a factor in that when you're looking at and you're assessing these players.